Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chris with CNM Aquatics. And today I thought we'd do a, a short video on some bird's nest coral, also known as Sarietopora. These corals are of the SPS variety, the small polyp stony variety. You can see the, the small polyps here on this guy. So bird's nest corals are um, pretty fast growers. That's one reason why people like to keep them. If you have the right parameters, they grow pretty quickly. Um, they do come in several different color variants. So what you're seeing here is uh, the yellow bird's nest. And the yellow bird's nest, they don't require a huge amount of light. I would say that most people starting out with SPS corals or keeping bird nests for the first time probably overexpose these corals, especially the yellow bird's nest variety. And the yellow bird's nest is the one I've seen offered um, mainly at the local fish stores. So yellow bird's nests do not require a lot of intense light. They actually do better in the medium to lower ranges. And one issue with bird's nest, I'm showing this aquarium here. This is a newer aquarium we set up to mainly propagate bird's nests in. And you can see the algae growth. Um, algae likes to get on the branches of bird's nest and that's not good for this coral. So that's one of the bigger issues you can run in with this coral is if it starts getting algae growing on its arms, um, that can cause tissue recession and can ultimately end up damaging the coral so i've moved that all that bird's nest out of that aquarium and cleaned it off and i gotta wait for that aquarium to cycle a little more before it's ready to house the bird's nest again so bird's nests are they have a calcium carbonate skeleton and like i said if you're running your aquarium parameters in the correct ranges they grow pretty fast which makes them a good candidate for propagation so some pink birds nests here you saw some purple then there's there's birds of paradise um, when keeping birds nests be careful with the lighting issue like I'm showing this guy here he got overexposed this is some more of that yellow birds nest and he's bleached out a little bit so he's been moved to a recovery system where he's being acclimated back to the light slowly. Same with this guy in the next two shots. You can see where they were overexposed. When researching and, and looking to get into bird's nest, look up and look up some, some on the internet. Um, see where they're situated naturally in the ocean and go off of that. So a lot of your, um, like your birds of paradise and, and pink bird's nest, they're found in areas in the ocean that at more shallow depths so they're closer to the surface and they need more lighting to survive whereas the yellow bird's nest is found deeper in the ocean and they don't get as much light and that's what they're used to so whenever I'd get into a new coral I'm trying to keep I don't know much about I always try to figure out um, their lighting their flow and I always try to figure out where they're situated in the ocean if they're shallow or if they're found at a deeper depth because that can give you a pretty good general guideline on where they need to be in the aquarium and, and what how intensive lighting they need to be under so this piece of bird's nest you can actually see some green tin in it and that's because he hasn't been bleached out so he's got a little better coloration and since the filming of this video, the other bleached coral, since I've moved them, they're doing much better. They're showing um, better polyp extension and growth. As far as flow goes, birds nests like a pretty high flow, especially once they start growing. As they grow, their arms can get entangled and they get a lot denser in, in their shape. They get all tangled up and as the colony grows it needs a higher flow rate to get better water circulation to the center of the coral that helps with nutrients um, nutrient exportation and nutrients coming to the coral so your flow 
can change. And I'm just going to show you guys how easy it is. It is pretty easy to propagate bird's nest. So they grow fast. They're easy to cut and propagate. But they don't ship very well. They are very brittle, which you'll see here. Yeah, he, he kind of just shot right off there. Um, amateur mistake, don't do that. Put down a tower or something so they don't bounce all over the place and break apart. They are extremely brittle. If you just bump up against these guys, pieces will break off, which I'll end up gluing all these pieces to a frag plug. So it's fine. Nothing went to waste. Just be very careful when handling bird's nest in your aquarium. If you just bump up against it, you'll break pieces off. They are very, very brittle. And literally, after you cut them, you just glue them straight to a frag plug. A little tip with these ceramic frag plugs here, before I put the glue on, I actually soaked them in aquarium water. And what that does is it helps keep the formation of bubbles out of your glue. If you don't soak them, there's air trapped inside of these ceramic frag plugs and it can bubble up and get in your glue. So just soak them for a couple minutes beforehand. Then you put your glue down and your pieces here are ready to glue straight to the plug. And you can glue them standing straight up like this. Or you can glue them laying them down as well. They'll grow back either direction you want to grow them. If you stand them up, it's harder to keep them standing sometimes and support it. So a lot of times it is easier just to glue them horizontally like that. And each one of these guys will eventually grow back into a um, full colony. So just remember, if you're if you're getting some some of the yellow bird's nest, um, acclimate it very slowly to your aquarium light and it doesn't need a ton of light. Um, 50 to 100 par I've been successful with. It is much better to be underpowered than it is to be overpowered. You will kill coral a lot faster with very intense light rather than having too little of light. If you have too little of light, you'll notice the coral over time and you can um, adjust it accordingly, but it won't kill it as quickly. So thanks for watching guys, that's a real quick video on Bird's Nest, I appreciate it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, bye.